Good afternoon again. Uh, I'm Dr. Jerry Tan and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about another very important topic, looking at what should be the best diet for any diabetic patient. We know as a disease that diabetes is both reversible and treatable, as long as the patient is on the right medication, diagnosed early and provided with lifestyle measures, and very critical is the proper nutrition. Because when we talk about nutrition, one has to understand that the key to nutrition therapy is to provide a meal plan that allows the patient to not get hungry. Because anytime a patient gets hungry, the hungry hunger hormones will increase and that will drive the patient to eat. On the other hand, it will recruit the increase in level of the craving hormones, which will also increase, that will justify the patient's want for food. So a meal game plan is very critical. This is very important so that the patient will not feel hungry. The patient will be able to eat at the right time, at the same time each day. By doing so, you don't allow the hunger hormones to increase and make the patient crave for food. If you follow the plate method that I advised, you're able to eat a variety of foods at the exact proportion. And the plate method will also provide you a balanced meal that is critical to a healthier diabetic. So here's how you should stick to a meal plan. If you provide yourself with a plate method of nutritious food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and not eating beyond the confines of the plate, you should be able to nourish your body for the day. What are extra calories usually that Filipinos get are the extra high carb snacks, which I always recommend to get rid of and do away with it and instead use a meal replacement, both as mid-morning snacks and as mid-afternoon snacks. Please talk with your doctor regarding how meal replacement can be incorporated into your nutritious meal plan. But let me provide you with some simple tips. It's always very critical for you to understand that when we talk about meal replacement, this is not a milk. It does not contain lactose, and therefore, even if you're lactose intolerant, you can safely tolerate this meal. Second, not all meal replacements are the same. Specifically, use a diabetes-specific formula that contains a specific protein called whey, because whey protein is very critical for diabetics because it is insulinotropic and therefore helps control glucose in a diabetic. You drink the meal replacement in sips, like coffee. This will allow the hunger hormones to stay low, not to increase, because you trick your mind that you're taking something. As a result, you avoid yourself craving for the next meal. Instead of drinking that meal replacement in one gulp, like drinking milk. One glass should be enough to sustain your needs and to make you feel full and not hungry prior to the next meal. Plus the fact it is calculated in terms of carbs, in terms of its content. So the bottom line is, when we talk about a nutrition plan, it's very important it should be incorporated in the whole game plan because you should not expect the medications to do all the job. You have to follow a meal plan, whatever it is that you and your doctor have decided for you, that you can sustain long term. That's very critical. And for my point, I always advise my patient to use the meal replacement method because it also helps cut down the unnecessary carbs during snacks. I hope this has been helpful. And if you like my videos, please continue to click subscribe 
so that you can be notified for any updated upcoming videos like the one soon talking about intermittent fasting as a meal plan for my diabetics. Also, please click on the link beside, which will actually help also you look at the previous videos that we have published here in the YouTube channel. And again, thank you very much for making me part of your journey toward a better health. With that, thank you very much. See you again soon.